Hi, I'm Cynthia for Arby's Cafe and I have a very special guest with me today and this is Anna. Hi Anna. Hi Cynthia. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm so excited to have you today. Me too. <laughs> and you have seen Anna before because uh, she's been on Facebook Live with Becky and she's also the one who typed the uh, answer on Facebook. She's doing the social media so mm -hmm. she's been with us for a while. And I'm super excited because she is the nail specialist here. <laughs> so, and I'm gonna have my nails done. Really fun. Yeah. Well, actually just one because just it takes one. time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we have those really great um, crystal pixie. So we want to show you how to apply this. And if it's really intimidated and you cannot apply it by yourself at home, you can always bring that to your manicure salon mm -hmm. and they can do it for you. But Anna's gonna show us how to do this and I'm so happy, I'm so excited. So we have the Swarovski Crystal Pixie and it comes in different sizes, right? Right, so there's two different types of Swarovski Crystal mm -hmm. Pixie. Um, they have the Crystal Pixie Petite and the Crystal Pixie Edge. Okay. Um, the Petite is something like softer. It has uh, round caviar beads and the extra cut crystals uh, okay. mixed in and the new edge is all cut crystals so very okay. very sparkly oh, that would be nice though really fun to work with yes i love the set also i love how they come in these little bottle. Those bottles are and so cute what is this for so yeah. this is the funnel that comes in all of the kits and okay when you're done pouring out your crystals over your nails or when you're finished mm -hmm. um, to not waste any of the the ones that fall right um, you just scoop it into the jar and it just oh, makes great. it easier to put back into the oh great the little yes jars. I can imagine all the little crystal all over your oh, table yeah. <laughs> I, I had a little bit of an accident when I first started playing <laughs> with them but they're really fun to work with right. and every uh, single set boxes they come with some uh, flat backs too right. right so they come with three different types and I believe you get um, 30 flat backs okay um, in each of the petite kits and um, so the, that's a lot. It, I think the bottle has five grams of the pixie Wow and, and that lasts a long time right? yeah I've already done a couple manicures I'd say mm -hmm. like three or four and I haven't really gotten oh wow. very far you don't need a lot I mean okay. unless you want to do every finger okay. but these will last you a long time okay talking about fingers you did yours already that's I did pretty. do my nails okay um, I used the cute mood box mm -hmm. and you can see that um, I did a few flat backs here just Bye. a little triangle something really simple mm -hmm. I like bling but not too much Hi. And then I did one that is just kind of a swooper on oh, the edge of my nail. So you can do whatever that. patterns you want with all the flat backs okay. they give you. And then we also do carry Swarovski flat backs separately. Right. So if you run out in the box, you can just always get more. Right. So what is pretty funny is you can use anything to put on your nail. Yeah. Right? You can uh, charms, chain, mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff. Okay. And I love steampunk, so I ask Anna if she can do kind of a steampunk theme. Yeah, I'm excited. So can we start with my nails? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so I like to do gel nails with um, the Crystal Pixie. I find for me personally that it lasts longer. Okay. And um, I just learned how to do gel nails, so this is just how I do it. I'm not professional, uh -huh. um, but it was a little bit scary when I first started. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So um, what I'm using here is the um, E Nail Couture gummy jelly and it's a gel builder gel and it comes in this jelly like consistency mm -hmm. and it kind of works as the glue okay so first of all, i would like to point out you dip your um your a nail brush, brush in in something there so. um i just use a uh, alcohol or a little bit of acetone okay. I, I think most people use alcohol but i just get it a little bit wet so it's easier to work with i just need a little bit and then what i like to do is i'm going to Yes, go for your hair a little bit. And I like to just cover and you start at the base and you kind of just work your way up. And you don't want it too thick, but you want it thick enough to where you can kind of put your item on there so that it kind of sits inside it oh, okay. and it kind of sinks in. So right now that's a really thin layer. And I like to do it a little bit thicker than that so it has a foundation to so it, sit on. Does that act like a glue then? Yes. Okay. And the fun thing about this is that it lasts forever. Really? That's funny. It's good to know that you can keep your manicure for a while. Oh yeah, this mine lasted a really long time. So another item that comes with 
using the gel builder is this really awesome top coat and what you okay. do with it is I watched a video where you put this base on and then mm -hmm. you put this on top and then you add your gels uh, okay. or your charms and Fine. then you cure your nail and then it sticks just forever. Oh, okay. So I'm going to apply this as well. You can also use this on top of your usual gel polish colors if you want, mm -hmm. but I really like um, kind of a minimal look when I'm working with crystals and things. Why? Right. Oops. And I just kind of brush that over the top. Try and make it as even as possible. Okay. But also give it a little bit of, not too thick. It's really, it took me some time to get to the right consistency. But I just need it thick enough so that I can stick something to right. it. So take this little gear here. Oops. Yeah, so I, I, we have those um, set with a lot of little gear. So I asked yeah. Anna if we could work with that. That's really cool, I love it. Yeah. Okay, so you can move around, that's yeah. okay. So you can position it um, as long as you don't get it covered in the glue mm -hmm. or anything like that until you need to cure it. Okay. And then if you wanted to add crystals at this point, you could, but you can kind of see how it sits in the gel. Right. And then when you cure it, it's just, um, it's kind of encased in it. Okay. So we can go ahead and cure that now. Oh, can we add some crystals? Oh yeah, we need crystals, sorry. <laughs> I need some crystal on there. <laughs> so we're gonna put these cute dots on. And I love steampunk, steampunk's so fun. It is. So we can put it yeah. here. Yeah, let's put one there. Let's and then when you're putting crystals or any charms on, you don't wanna get too close to the edge. Okay. Um, the nail because if you're like me I, I adjust my glasses and I touch my face a lot and sometimes oh, you, that's can, true. you don't want to scratch yourself if yes. it's sticking out over the edge so I like to keep everything within your nail bed that's true so if you don't want any more crystals we can go ahead and cure that let's see hmm. let me check <laughs> <laughs> there's this like yeah, really let's pretty do the mat, mat one. the mat here okay I think I'm going crazy because this is my first time doing nail like this way, <laughs> so I want everything. <laughs> That's fine. And go ahead yes, and just like drop that. that in and then Perfect. I love it. I like that it's silvery too. Yeah. It's got a little brass going on. So then you cure under the An light? LED lamp. Okay. Um, usually uh, when you're doing gel nails, you're, you'll either have a UV lamp or an LED lamp. And then you just cure for however long that gel takes. This gel, I believe, takes 90 seconds. Oh, wow. So my little lamp that I have at home, I just click the button twice, and that's usually like a minute and a half. So we can go ahead and wow. do that. Okay. Okay, so we're just going to move my hand aside, and uh, you're going to do yours now. Yeah. Okay. So what did you choose for yours? Um, I chose the Crystal Pixie um, Cute Mood because mm -hmm. I really like the, the AB crystals. Right, and it's yes. super sparkly in the sun and I just like that it's it's kind of like clear so it just mm -hmm. kind of goes with everything that's true and I, I like to just use this on my whole entire nail okay okay so I start with a bare nail mm -hmm. and then I like to just kind of dot at the top of the nail and brush it down until I get an even coat okay it's really popular that in acrylic nails and if you like to do charms and designs it's just really fun and it lasts really mm -hmm. long time okay so I think I have a pretty decent foundation okay it's a little bit uneven here so I'm just trying to work with it but not get it too thin you want it thick enough so that it ha the, your charms and your crystals have something to stick to okay and so then, um, and then I like to take the top coat, and this is a trick I learned online, is you put your builder gel on, mm -hmm. and then you put this right over the top without curing. Okay. So curing means to put it underneath your LED or UV lamp. And um, what I read was if I do it this way, especially with this particular set of products um, from eCouture, this last like 10 times longer. Oh, wow. So I just put this top coat on so that way you don't actually have to cover your crystals. It'll sit inside the the gel and okay. the top coat and everything will just be nice and smooth. Oh, nice. And you won't cover up the sparkle of your 
your crystals. Okay. So I'll need a tray and then okay. you can so watch the sparkle happen. Here's a tray. And what I like to do is I like to have the container okay. underneath my fingers so it catches them, all the crystals. That's a good idea. Yeah. This way it doesn't get everywhere. <laughs> I learned the hard way and I was like, what am I going to do with all these loose crystals? So what I like to do is I kind of tip it uh -huh. and I just kind of tap, tap, tap until I get it out. So some people might like it just a little bit, but, but um, you can do like gradient effects where you start really thick at the top with crystals and kind of fade out to the bottom of your nail. That would be nice. Yeah, but I like to just kind of go all out and yeah. I like all the sparkle in there. Go for it, go for yeah. it. <laughs> So I like to kind of tap the excess off. Okay. And then I'll take the end of my brush or whatever tools you're using and then just kind of push all the... Right, yeah, I can see the the, some of the crystal are sticking out and yeah. that can be dangerous, right? Oh, yeah. And then they can also pop off of your nail easier if they're oh, not right. like in the, the bed of your nail. Okay. And then I like to kind of tap on the top to push the the crystals mm -hmm. into the gel. That way they're like really set in right. there. And then I think we're good. That's great. That's so sparkly. Yeah. That's really I cool. Just, and the way it catches the light is just so pretty. Yes. <laughs> so I have a question. Mine, uh, we didn't cure mine yet. Yeah. Can I add a little of crystal? Oh yeah. So let, let's, <laughs> let's do just a little. Just so a little? Just, just a little to have some sparkle. So this, this, what I like about having that top coat on the top is in um, usually when you do your gel nails, you don't do the top coat on top of your gel. It just depends on the kind of products you're using. Okay. But with this, um, the gummy candy stuff that we're using here just really makes this quicker. And I can kind of add it in between like yes, your empty spaces. that's great. Here. So we can Let's kind do of that. Yeah. do the tip there. Oops. Yeah, so like I like that. It's like sparkly steampunk. And then I'll like take that. my brush okay. and take the end here and make sure that you don't have any right. crazy loose crystals. <laughs> and I'll take your hand here. Bit. And then, then we would cure this and then mm -hmm. they would be stuck there for like three weeks. Wow. It lasts a I long time. I can do dishes, or maybe I shouldn't yeah. do dishes and maybe have my husband do dishes, dishes right? Yeah. <laughs> or you just, oh, I got my nails done, I can't do anything. <laughs> Um, I was able to get really good wear Love out of it. this, like mm -hmm. a good two weeks, and I, you know, typing dishes, laundry, right. and they just last forever. Wow. Especially if you do, um, you know, the kind of setup that we've got going uh -huh. on here. Oh, that looks great. I, I just love it. It's really fun. Yes. And you can have parties like that with your friend and having oh, a yeah. nail party. Nail that would parties. Be fun too. It's good for going out, for weddings, special mm -hmm. occasions, birthdays, all that's kinds of true. stuff. That's but true. That's true. Very fun. Thank you so much, You're Hannah, welcome. for coming and showing that to us. This is such such a fun thing. I I never did my nail like that, but I think I'm hooked now. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I can do it any time. <laughs> you have to come back then. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank so, you. And, and thank you so much for uh, joining us today at Arby's Cafe. And make sure to subscribe to our email newsletter to get the promotion. See Anna again. <laughs> <laughs> See our greater idea. So thank you so much. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. À bientôt. Bye.